There are things we live among, and to see them is to know ourselves. Occurrence, a part of an infinite series. The sad marvels. Of this was told a tale of our wickedness. It is not our wickedness. Do you remember that old town we went to, and we sat in the ruined window, and we tried to imagine that we belonged to those times? It is dead and it is not dead, and you cannot imagine either its life or its death. The earth speaks and the salamander speaks. The spring comes and only obscures it. So spoke of the existence of things. An unmanageable pantheon, absolute, but they say arid. A city of the corporations, glassed in dreams and images and the pure joy of the mineral fact. Though it is impenetrable, as the world, if it is matter, is impenetrable. The emotions are engaged. Entering the city is entering any city. We are not coeval with the locality, but we imagine others are. We encounter them. Actually, a populace flows through the city. This is the language, therefore, of New York. Obsessed, bewildered by the shipwreck of the singular, we have chosen the meaning of being numerous. Whether, as the intensity of seeing increases, one's distance from them, the people, does not also increase. I know, of course I know, I can enter no other place, yet I am one of those who, from nothing but man's way of thought, and one of his dialects, and what has happened to me, have made poetry. To dream of that beach for the sake of an instant in the eyes, the absolute singular, the unearthly bonds of the singular, which is the bright light of the shipwreck. Or, in that light, new arts, dithrambic audience as artists, but I will listen to a man, I will listen to a man, and when I speak I will speak, though he will fail and I will fail, but I will listen to him speak. The shuffling of a crowd is nothing. Well, nothing but the many that we are, but nothing. Urban art, art of the cities, art of the young in the cities. The isolated man is dead, his world around him exhausted, and he fails. He fails that meditative man, and indeed they cannot bear it. It is that light. Seeps anywhere. A light for the times, in which the buildings stand on low ground, their pediments just above the harbour. Absolutely immobile, hollow, available. You could enter any building. You could look from any window. One might wave to himself from the top of the Empire State Building. Speak, if you can. Speak.